Hey y'all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at Aki's T21. This is a budget, multicolor smart LED lamp that sells for under 30 bucks, and it's a sphere in terms of its design, which is a little reminiscent of the moon lamps that have been pretty popular recently. As we featured in previous videos, it's a 3D printed moon that has a bulb and it lights up in the dark, acting as a pretty neat mood light. But here is another competitor that is more in a simple sphere shape. Aki's version also has built-in Wi-Fi, which allows it to connect to the internet, and so you're able to control it using a companion app, or also connect it to Amazon Alexa, and then use voice commands to automatically turn it on or off. It's including timer modes, so you can also turn it on automatically, say at 8 or 9 a.m. if you want to use it as a wake-up light. However, it doesn't have a built-in speaker, so you can't use it to play back music, and it's not really a conventional alarm, since it can't ring a chime or siren, it really just relies on the light. Some of the specs are reiterated again on the side. And inside, we have, of course, the lamp itself in addition to a power adapter. Now, this is also not a rechargeable or battery-operated lamp, so unfortunately, it does need to be plugged in at all times. I think a backup battery would have been a nice, maybe, feature to consider. Lamp itself is constructed out of polycarbonate plastic, and picking it up, some differences include a base that is flat and has a soft-touch rubber that prevents it from sliding around on a surface, compared to the moon lamp that has a completely round shape, so it requires a stand for it to stay in one position. Now on the back here we do have the power plug, there's also a key that you can tap on to kind of reset things, and then there is the touch control on the top that you can gently touch with your finger to turn it on or off. One other difference is the front of the lamp is translucent, which allows the light to pass through. However, unlike the moon lamp, which is 360 degrees, allowing the light to spread out, the back of the Aki lamp doesn't allow light to pass through. So the light only emits from the front as you're looking at it, nothing will go from the back. Here's what it looks like with it plugged in. You get a closer idea of the fact that the back here doesn't allow light to pass through. It's still an elegant design, especially if you put it in the corner of a room. It doesn't really add too much to have light going behind it, and from the front it still looks like a perfect sphere. Otherwise, without the app, you can't change the color of the light directly. However, you can change the brightness by holding on the top sensor for a few seconds, so it will get brighter and brighter as you can see there, and after a few seconds this is the maximum. It's actually quite good. You're able to do a little bit of reading of maybe your phone or laptop if you're in bed. If it's your only source of light in a smaller room, it will still provide a nice glow in the background for sure. Now in terms of the minimum brightness, I can long hold for a few more seconds, and it will just get gradually dimmer and dimmer as you can see there. So a nice range in terms of brightness overall. Now the companion application is called Aki Home. We can see a selection here that they provide, including their smartwatches, smart sockets, and other appliances, but we want the T21. And after powering on the device, it's gonna tell you to tap on the key on the back there for about five to 10 seconds. It'll start to flash after doing so, so you will confirm that the lamp is now flashing, tap on next, and it will then proceed to try and connect. And there we have it. The T21 has been added successfully. We can, of course, also purchase multiple of these lights if I want to put them into different rooms, and I can still control all of them within the app. We can, say, turn off the light, turn it back on, and as long as your internet connectivity is good, it relies on 2.4G wireless. Now, in terms of the color temperature, we can also adjust this now just by turning this dial to make it colder, so more of a white light versus warmer, closer to a candle lamp, depending on your preferences. And I can also change the brightness level using the slider, as you can see there down below, that works pretty well. Now, I can also change the color, of course, just by going to the second tab, and now we can freely adjust into the RGB modes. Uh, right now, now it's in kind of a auto mode, so it's trying to just flash between these different settings. So it's slowly oscillating and going through the patterns uh, gradually by itself, which is a pretty cool effect. And if you want to, of course, change it or lock it to a specific color, you can just turn this dial yourself. You can also create timers, so the lamp will automatically shut off after X minutes or hours of being lit, and under more, you can also create schedules. So this is for it to turn on automatically, say in the morning. You can also let this repeat uh, either once or specific days of the week. Under rhythm, you're also able to allow it to uh, kind of change in terms of its brightness throughout the day. So this is the equivalent of having presets basically built into the software. So you can also change the day of the week. Uh, there are some recommendations, so it will wake you up in the morning, 6.30 for instance, and it will be at 20% brightness, and by 10.30 it will be 
at 100%, uh, and then back at night, it will start to change the brightness level again. Now, the third tab over called Scene is going to be more of an ambient light that tries to change the color to match a certain mood. So there are some presets here, including nighttime, and there's a reading mode that you can try out that changes to a brighter white light uh, versus a working mode and it changes the color temperature to be a little bit colder there, and further customization, rename it into something else, change the picture that it represents. Other smart automated tricks that you can try, including automatically changing the color, for example, when the weather changes. Under your profile settings, this is where you can connect to your Amazon or Google accounts for the voice assistant component. So tap on more services, and then you can add third-party access to aforementioned Alexa or Google's assistant. So after tapping there, it will just tell you to basically log in with your account. We've already set it up with our Google Assistant, so it will tell us that we can simply say certain commands like turn off the lights, turn on the lights, turn on the Aki lamp, and it will just register. So, for example, turn off everything. And you can see that in our case, the uh, lamp here has been completely turned off. I can also turn it back on and also change something like the brightness. This is all integrated into the now Google Assistant. Or if you have a Google Home Mini or Smart Speaker, anything with Assistant, you can just use your voice to control it, including changing the color. So let's say, change color to purple. And there we have it, it's been changed. So the process is quite fast. So that's more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review of the Aki T21 Multicolor Smart LED Lamp. It's another sphere-shaped lamp which is pretty modern looking and getting quite popular these days. For the price, again, under 30 bucks, I think it's competitive in the sense that it has built-in Wi-Fi, so you're able to do a lot of things, including set up automations and connecting it to a smart assistance, which are missing from the similarly priced moon lamps. You can check out more details if you're interested. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.